Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager. Now, um, just a little warning um, about this uh, thing. I'll just start off very quickly. If you are planning to do um, what I do, which is of course change your resolution to um, record fraps, um, bear in mind if you have a small hard drive, this resolution, this recording, recording this resolution takes up quite a lot of memory. The last game, that Atletico game, took up 11 gig for one game and that was like less than 15 minutes so you know less than 15 minutes that's 11 gig that's only a gigabyte a minute probably so if you have a, a hard small hard drive um, be wary of that right so Burnley FA Cup now if we do uh, win this of course we are through to the semi-finals of the FA Cup unbelievably uh, I've decided to put a few fringe players in you know David and Moose come in spearing again Wilson maybe Cole Babel Tires up front, side with the 4 4 2 for now. Um, of course, they have some good players, not going to lie. You know, Alexander, Clark Carlisle, Andre Biko. Well, okay, they're not that good, but you know, Graham Alexander's good, but that's about it. Um, let's, um, that's the assistant. I think we need to get everything on. Um, where's he gone? Graham Alexander. Let's get, uh, Shaman to his weaker foot because you know how good he is. Uh, in terms of saying in that sort of situation, um, let's um, wish them luck and let's go. So of course this is arguably the easiest tie, probably will turn out to be the hardest, and the one we'll probably lose um, in the FA Cup. We've played, of course, we've um, played City, we've played. There you go. So I told you, Graham Alexander's good. <laughs> um, we've played City, we've played Chelsea, we've played Arsenal, and all that. You know, we've played a lot of good teams. But Burnley, with all respect to them, aren't Arsenal, Chelsea, or City. Um, although they are a good team, they are a good team. Um, on this throw is a threat. I mean, they beat us in, the, in I think, yeah, in the FA Cup originally in um, 2000. And, I think it was four, five. I remember it was. I think it was 2005. Plus the year we won the Champions League. Or when Morelos, that was going in. Could have been his third in two games. Um, the videos, of course, with that Jimmy Traore on goal. Honest to God, I've n never. I've watched that bloody goal so many times I've never understood what on earth he was trying to do if anyone could possibly offer an, uh, an explanation of what he was trying to do please tell us anyway here's Joe Cole oh, I, thought, I thought he just I thought it was a terrible free kick but it wasn't it was in fact um, a deflection here's a moose corner oh and I think it was uh, Wilson nearly got on the end of that but uh, we're having chances here which isn't too bad I think but, but it's fairly going to be an open game of another corner so can Cole put a good cross in this time? <laughs> no, instead he takes a shot, which uh, I think was the best option in the world, but um, well, never mind. Right now, let's see. And Thompson's in. Rayner makes a good save. And somehow Cowie, and again, the commentator goes sick. Um, <laughs> Cowie scored. Um, well, then, from a just Suarez angle, <laughs> I suppose you'd call it. Um, I've always got to this point now where I want almost to get knocked out of one of these competitions because it's almost getting unre unrealistic now. How good we're doing. Rayner makes a good save and Cowie's on hand. Oh, it bounced off Rayner. <laughs> yeah, as I say, it's getting to the point now where it's like, you know, if I do a quadruple, um, people are just going to be like in the comments, you know, oh, you're cheating, you've done this, you're, you're quitting out of every game, you know, kind of thing. I mean, there is, and the problem with that is, of course, there is absolutely no way of me proving that I have not backed out. You know, I suppose, I don't know how I'd, I'd, I'd do it, but there's a goal, and it's Jay Spearing. That's his first ever goal for Liverpool. He has not I'd laugh if this was a header. Because <laughs> he looks like a little umpa lumpa without the, fa without, the, uh, without the painting, but without the face mask. But um, let's have a look at this. See, does it actually replicate his height he is? Look how small he is. Look how small he is. Oh, no, he, he volleyed it. Oh, it's a deflection. Left foot of volley deflection and it went into the goal and Spirit always oh, fell on the floor there. There he goes, Jay Spear, and I tell you what. He's actually on this he's actually not as bad as I thought. I thought he'd be really bad, you know, like bit bit almost unusual. I don't know what to describe, but useless. But no, he's replicating his real life form. And whoa, where's the ball going here? Well, Torres hasn't been able to do much, but David Amu, he's uh, impressed me as well. So get him in the team. I want to have a look at John Flanagan next. I should have put Flanagan in, but he hasn't played in the team yet, so um, I didn't want to just throw him in straight away. I know that's how he did it against City, but you know, bear in mind that's real life. Um, it doesn't take in certain real life factors. But Jake Spearing is very impressive. Oh, and here's Torres. 
He just runs. He just slices like through the fences like a knife through butter. He really does. Uh, Joe Cole corner. Nope, nothing. You do occasionally score from corners. Oh, and wow, Cole. He's that's he's that's twice he's done that now, and he's nearly scored. Um. So I also would like to just mention very quickly. I talked before about the uh, resolution thing, you know, and how it um will affect you. You know, if you have a hard, a big, a small hard drive, it will um. Oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, Carrigan has once again has been sent off. God's sake, we can't buy a fucking break. We always have to finish with either an injured player, with a, a sent... Oh, for Christ's sake. Uh, why is Morales defending? He should be a ball-winning midfielder. Uh, I suppose Jay Spooner is going to have to sit back now. Let's get Wilson in the middle. And that will do. Uh, let's also drop Ryan Babble back. I think that's what you do. That's, that's, that, that is what you should do at all times. If you have a man sent off, I believe that is what you should do. It seems to work for me. It has worked for me in the past, and hopefully it should work again here. Um, but as I say, uh, one thing that can actually happen with um, th this resolution, I don't know, if, I think this may have just been something I was doing. I was recording something for a uh, 100th video special. Look out for that when we hit 100 videos. Um, I think it may have just been because I was looking at replays. But um, it does something what I call the... Um, oh, and I've just hit the bar. It does something called... The treadmill effect, <laughs> which is if you're looking at it from the 3D perspective, which is like the normal pitch perspective, what to do? The players they'll stop running and just start running like they're on a treadmill, and they'll just stop, you know, running on on absolute nothing. It's very weird, but um, that's what can happen. And there's David Amu. I told you about this kid, David Amu. He's got another goal. That's Jay Spearing and David Amu with the goals. I am telling you about this kid. Snap him up. He's a good player, and there's the proof here. He's done well. Joe Cole does well. I will go past him. And he's done very well today, Joe Cole. Good header for Mamou. Get him in your team. If you're, if you're after someone, even get him on loan. David Mamou in the 57th minute. Goal. And that could take us through to the FA Cup. Just buy a fucking goal. And somehow, that did not go out for a corner. How in there did that not go out? Is it? It's, look at that. Look at, where, look at where the throne was taken. Wilson and Morelles and can't get it on target this time. I'd rather honestly get knocked out than play another um, half an hour because it's it's an absolute nightmare. Anyway, here we go. Is Cowie again? When Johnson does well to intercept. Cole finds Babel. Find a move. He's got space. What can he do here? What can the young Garnet do? Ooh. Well, he didn't mean it, but he's he's got something out of nothing. He's got some good delivery on him. Ooh. Very, very impressed by him. Snap him up if you want. I want to see uh, Kenny put him in the team. I'd like to see just loads of our kids, because the uh, reserve team, kids are doing very, very well. So I talked about Robinson, Flanagan, Spear, and great players. Very, very good. All of them. And there's another one here. Um, D uh, David Amu. Got another few as well. I talked about, you know, Suso and Ince and Pacheco and just quality players. I want to have a look at a... Oh, <laughs> what a terrible effort that was. I want to get Sammy Lee's uh, view of... Um, uh, John Flanagan. I'm going to see what he thinks. Anyway, I'm going to make a sub now if this goes in. No, it won't. Okay, uh, let's see. Should we put Gerard on for uh, spearing? No, we won't. We'll put him on for Babel. I think we should take uh, spearing off as well for Shelby. And Bentley have scored. Oh dear. <laughs> I knew that was inevitable. I was about to click OK and I was just waiting for that to start flashing to be honest. Let's have a look at this then. As I say, you know, I won't be too disarmed if we lose this. I mean, it's getting to the point now where it's like, this is just unrealistic. You know, you, you win an everything. And it's true. I mean, oh, what a shot. Oh, Reina, what the fuck are you doing? You should be catching that. I'm sorry. <laughs> should really be doing better there. Watch it. I'll just go straight through now. I'll go all the way um, to 90. Oh, maybe not. Overload this shit. And you can see they have loads of... Re it's, it's ten men. I mean, for, you know, again, the game kind of fucked you over. Again, that's another problem with hard tackling I'd like to point out as well. And so one's going to have to go off. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Things are getting pretty bad to worse. Um, Scout, I guess I'll bring on... I don't care if you can't play there. Fuck off. So we've had a red card and an injury. That's uh, fantastic. 
fantastic uh, game here for us. You know, it's been really good. Torres isn't even chasing after the ball. I think the kind of oh here we go now a move good tackle again from the young man. He's done very very well. There goes Torres now. He beat, he's got the beating of these Burnley players every single time. And there had to be a penalty. What are you talking about? Deems to hand the ball. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me there. Uh, that's a problem with that. Um, okay, we're taking a corner, and for some reason, he's not taking it. We've got you're winding down the clock here. Come on, Gerard. Thank you. <laughs> And that's been head of the way. Come on, Amu, you've got that. <laughs> we apologise for that. There we go now. What, one last chance. Come on. And that's a poor ball from Paul Koncheski. And Joe Cole gives away a foul. There you go. I think that's going to be. It looks like we are out to the FA Cup, unfortunately. But as I say, not too disheartened because it's it's just it's losing that realism factor. And uh, the game blatantly. Why are we playing so much at the time? What's going on? What is going on with the at the time on this game? And very mental, but there we go. Um, yes, yeah, so there we go. Out of the FA Cup to Burnley. Oh, anyway, I love that. You know, we, we we beat Chelsea, we beat Arsenal, we beat City, and we can't beat Burnley. Incredible. It's a good game, though. Thank God, you know. Actually, oh, I should have said to... Um, damn, I should have said to Amu, you were great. And Spearing, but can't, unfortunately. Oh, well, there you go. That's uh, beat by a bunch of amateurs who play for Burnley. That's fantastic. Uh Devastated them. I don't give a shit. Uh, Peel, obviously. Uh, and Johnson. Um, let's see. Injection. Two weeks. Um, hmm, what do we do here? I'll oh, just give him bloody injection for God's sake. Oh no no! Just leave them so busy. I've I've not bothered by that. Clarence and smash wasn't really a smash and grab. I'm sorry, but um. What can you do? I'm not actually that disappointed. Yes, that's, I'd rather just focus everywhere else. So, what can I say here? It would be very easy to stand by. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, I don't even know what I'll, I'm. Believe, fuck this prick blows top. <laughs> I'll be asked if you prick. <laughs> no, I like storm out, it's quite funny. Anyway, um, sorry about that. Uh, oh, fuck off! Christ, it makes a big deal out of everything, doesn't it? Um, anyway, uh, so that's the FA Cup. To be honest, I'm sick of the fucking FA Cup. It's thrown up so much bullshit, uh, in the, in the past. Um, I'm very happy to leave it. Anyway, uh, that's the game. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed me rambling and all sorts of wacky stuff in between. Uh, I will now uh, leave you, and we will get back to you with the game against Atletico Madrid and Anfield, the home return leg. So I hope you hope you'll join me for that.